Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 4 with me, Get Dave. So, last time we didn't get a chance to explore this. And it's an interesting little cave. There's apparently some sort of elevator in it. And we have covered up a staircase. That's worth remembering. There's, I believe, two elevator puzzles in the game. One's in the very final area. Alright. We can already walk around there, but it does give us a path to the inside. The Baron's Boogie. No, the Baron's Bedougal. It has the unique ability. Um, I forget the exact details of how to get to that staircase, but I want it. But we want it. The Baron's Bugle will summon the wagon if you ever get separated from it. It is particularly important at one very important occasion, and so we'll deal with that when we get there. Anticlimactic. The Goddess Ring gives you MP regeneration, which is pretty useful, uh, particularly on a healer character. Huge bonus to the Wisdom stat. Eh. Yeah, I'm not going to take it off the hero. In the original game, I think that was a mysterious bolero, which is kind of a weird... Uh, down in the bottom of that. It's kind of a weird armor that makes you regenerate MP based on the damage you take. It's kind of like the runic ability from FF6, except you still take the damage, as does everyone else. A juju guru. Uh, everybody's on manual because I... Uh, I'm still set up from attacking that uh, Metal King slime. Sorry if I talk a little funny in this video. My uh, tongue has a laceration on it. Mm. Alright. Now to be honest, I forget completely where the tower is on this continent, but it takes like five seconds to find. Well, obviously it takes a bit longer, but not by much. It's too bad, I was hoping... Oh, wow! The worst choice ever. We all spread out our attacks. Ragnar, take your pick. Oh, <laughs> my god. Okay, Ragnar, you're on the brink of losing that staff. That is not what you do with it. Not that frequently. Maybe if I switch his tactics, it'll go away. Leave the healing to Mina. Let's try that. Alright, we're close, because that's where the cave is. 
That's the cave to Nadiria. You'll know that there's no real way to get at it right now. Because the balloon has to land in that spot when it lands on this island. And by that spot, I mean the place it's already landed. I swear I'll get there, everybody. Alright, here we are. It's actually kind of obvious when you think about it. There's three prongs on the island. Alright, this door will not open for you if you don't have the Zenithian gear equipped. Alright, I'm gonna open up by going to the left. My memory of this tower is quite foggy. Most of the other areas I kind of remember the way to get around, but that's not really the story here. A Glombolero. So, mage armor that absorbs MP. Not as good as the liquid metal armor, apparently. Shocking, I know. Okay, if you step on those uh, discs, they'll rise up and take you to the sky. Alright, this is just the other path. Well, we opened up with a meaningless choice, but I like to think I made the right one. You also go here in Dragon Quest V, although the tower is a little bit different. DQ5, so it is a sequel to Dragon Quest IV, and Dragon Quest VI is technically a prequel to Dragon Quest IV, uh, which is actually the same configuration as um, Dragon Quests 1, 2, and 3. 3 is actually the very first one in the entire continuity. Uh, and 1 is definitely a sequel to 3, and 2 is a sequel to 1. So they just follow the classic original sequel prequel setup. That pattern stops holding true with 7. I was kind of hoping they would establish the bridge between them in Dragon Quest IX, but they were too busy going in a different direction, so... Alright, so far, I don't think we've made a real choice in our navigation. Alright, here we go. So far, so good. Full HP to everybody when we want it. Also, there are enemies in here, just so you know. Well, where does that other one go? Ugh, see, this is always where I get confused. Also, so this tower is in Dragon Quest V as well. But, um... Okay. In the DS remakes, it also has a slightly different layout. So I've actually witnessed four different maps to this region. Oh. Where am I? Oh goodness. Alright, I can figure this out. Yeah, alright, alright, everything's making sense. Good. Time and space are now consistent again. And let's just triple check here. Good. Dragon Shield, most valuable at this point in the game for its money. Although you could still definitely make the clay case that we should equip that on Ragnar. As a matter of fact, if you had liquid metal armor to give him, 
That could potentially turn Ragnar into an end fight character. I always view him as a bit of a fringe one. The thing I like is this area does have kind of unusual architecture, which is what I think you should expect from sort of this divine area. I think that's the way up. There we go. Seriously. These enemies will be encountering... Ooh. Right until the end of the game. Ha! Welcome back to the land of the conscious. Headshot. Alright, I think this is just another pathway up. I don't want to do that quite yet. Yay! Yeah, we're on our way to Zenithia, the city in the clouds. A divine city. It should have, I don't know, something that seems a bit foreign to us. We're starting to fill up on items. It's not a big deal. Come on, there you go. So the question is, which one of these is the super path up? I thought it was the other one. Oh no, this is starting to... Yeah, this is it. Reverse course. I'm sure if I climb that ladder. The other one just had the look to it, though. I mean, this looks like the sort of place that would take you to a final destination. That's kind of weird. I scarcely step on it. Racer. Well, it's defense plus 15. Oops. I think it's fun that the hero still does more damage than everyone but Elena. Things are getting a little higher. These guys have uh, the ability to resurrect all of their friends, so these attacks can go on, or these fights can go on for quite a while. So far, so good. Yeah. That's exactly what would happen if a character with a Kerplunk Racer uh, died. I think Bina also learns the spell Kerplunk. But casting it does kill her. Wish I had the sphere of silence on hand. These guys have just enough HP. Oh, screw you guys! He's done that already. Alright, enough 
what's in there. What's in there? Oh, screw you guys. These guys are, these are horrible, horrible enemies. Yeah, you assess the situation. Red rum. Jeez. These guys are dicks. Oh good. Actually, this is a lot more manageable. In Dragon Quest VIII, there's actually a technique where... You will run into those enemies and Metal King Slimes, and you can chain insane experience together by repeatedly killing a uh, Liquid Metal Slime. Also, I'm gonna go back here. Maybe that... That's where that ladder would have led. Okay. To a dead end. We've done well, everyone! This is the end, and we've mapped everything. Now, this is only made out of vaporous water, so we... okay. Welcome to Zenithia, everybody. Uh, we get the wagon for free. Oh yeah, and we were supposed to return her as well. Well, you're welcome. Okay. Can we have money or enlightenment? I am beholding it. Cool story, bro. Nursing some young Yggdrasil saplings. Thanks. I have a ton of this stuff now. Time to start selling it. Oh no. I can see a little bit of a wicked cloud. Alright, now read into this what you will. A human woodcutter, okay. Okay. Oh no. And she begins to cry. So I believe this is your mother. But that's all we'll ever find out about that. I mean, I would have expected that, you know, that's a good meeting again, but I uh, would have thought there'd be a bit more. We're gonna go down there later. Whoops. Sweet love to a woodcutter. Yep. Well, technically born for the first time. Hello? If you remember from chapter 2, the elves that were dancing, and we got the birdsong nectar from them? This is them. Sure. Because we don't speak their language. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mean 
and Maya's father. I, I would love to rest, read of the books. Why didn't we destroy the armlet of transmutation then? Well, either way, at least no problems ha yeah, occurred because of it. And up top, the Zenith Dragon. He's called Master Dragon in the original. He was also yellow. nice to know. Perhaps you could have stopped my village from being destroyed. Hmm. So, could we beat you up or not? The sum of his power is experience points. Will be your greatest ally. Well, it's pretty good anyway. It is much stronger now. Attack power is up to 110, so it's the second strongest sword in the game proper, but more importantly, if you use it as an item in battle, it will cancel all effects on an enemy. So if they were to cast Bounce, um, you could just dispel that. So that's nice, especially if they start, like, oomphing themselves or things like that. Did I talk this a little bit before? Oh. No, I'm gonna be friendly. Yes. Hello, Rafiala. Sparky's not bad. Originally called Doran. He's got some useful breath attacks. And uh, actually some good resistances as well. But no experience points and not quite as useful as your party characters. Well, time to get rid of those erected barriers. Thank you. And on that note, wait, I can't save here? Well, let's see how many experience points everyone needs. Not bad. Actually, a lot of people are quite close. No, that's, that's fine, thank you. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. Next time, we're heading into Nadiria. I'll see you there.